Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Health Cube, where our mission is not only to motivate you but help you to move on to the brighter side of the health. In today's video, I'm going to share with you what is the importance of starting early physiotherapy when you are suffering from facial paralysis and what kind of physiotherapy. Well, you must have heard from my videos many a times that if you are in the early stage of Bell's palsy, you don't need electrical stimulation and I absolutely stick on to that point. But that does not mean that do you don't need physiotherapy and even that does not mean that electrical stimulation is only physiotherapy physiotherapy is way much more and more beyond electrical stimulation when it comes to management of facial paralysis so what are the benefits of starting early physiotherapy intervention when you suffer from bell's palsy i'm going to address that and after that, I'll also tell you what kind of physiotherapy is good in the initial or early phase of Bell's palsy. Now, there are n number of studies or literature which are present which have proven that early physiotherapy intervention when started in Bell's palsy, the prognosis or as the outcome is better or as at least if the outcomes are not better, the complications, the secondary issues that develop post Bell's palsy, they minimize to a dramatic extent. And that's why starting early physiotherapy is a good idea. But many a times people think that early physiotherapy for Bell's palsy means only electrical stimulation. But that is not the case friends. Physiotherapy is not just electrical machines and devices. Yes, though are, those are very important part of physiotherapy, but physiotherapy is way beyond it. Physiotherapy is basically a science and art which focuses on helping a person to come back to its functional life as he or she was before her illness or injury. And that is the exact goal that we keep in mind when we are trying to help a patient suffering from facial paralysis. But when we start early intervention in the early phase of facial paralysis itself the benefits of doing that is number one it prevents the risk of all the secondary complication that happens i am not saying that these secondary complication will not come but the level the extent at which this secondary complications can come will be minimized and that's why it's important to start early physiotherapy now as i said Early physiotherapy is not about electrical stimulation, but it is more about number one education, awareness. It's very important for you to understand why, what and how about facial paralysis. Because when you know the cause behind your facial paralysis, what exactly is wrong in facial paralysis and how it has to be managed, you will have a very clear picture as in where, when, what you can expect. After this, the second thing about physiotherapy for facial paralysis is certain, certain do's and don'ts that you have to keep in mind. Definitely there are certain things which you have to absolutely avoid in the early phase of Bell's palsy and at the same time there are certain things that are highly encouraged, certain practices which are very useful for you. That understanding also helps you to get better because the more clear you are, the more empowered you feel and you will have a much more positive attitude towards your recovery. Third benefit of physiotherapy in the early phase is also about doing activities and tasks, keeping healing in mind and preventing contractures and complications in mind. So when you are aware of all the complications, side effects, things that could happen or could go wrong in patient paralysis, then it would be easy for you to mitigate them and prevent them. And that's why early intervention or talking to a physiotherapist in the early phase helps you. So what is the right type of physiotherapy that has to be done in the early phase of Bell's palsy? Well, I take it in five steps. Number one is education. Yes, educating you about Bell's palsy because I see many patients coming and they say that, okay, I heard the term Bell's palsy first time in my life. So for them, it's very important to understand what exactly is this condition all about. So that is also a very crucial part of physiotherapy. Number two is hot fermentation. When you suffer from facial paralysis, your facial muscles get very easily tired and that's why they need more supported hot fermentation to reduce pain. 
so hot fermentation plays a very crucial role number 3 and the most important thing is your facial massage doing facial massage is very important as it helps in improving lymphatic drainage it also maintains the flexibility it stimulates your sensory nerve uh, which is not the facial nerve but the trigeminal nerve which sends the signals to the brain about how this face feels like so constant stimulation is also needed with hand and not electric friends and at the same time and at the same time the next thing that is needed is something called as opposite side stretching yes because now the opposite or the good side is working very hard to compensate on the affected side so they also need a lot of relaxation and stretching practices are very helpful to reduce the spasms and tightness on those areas the next thing that is done in the physiotherapy or the phase of physiotherapy is relaxation and breathing practices this helps to bring back calmness because you are going through a lot of anxiety a lot of tension a lot of uncertainty and that eases out with the help of meditation and fourth one is eye protection or eye stretches eye stretches helps to maintain the flexibility of your eyelid muscles because they very usually get tight and spasmodic so these are the five important things which is done in the early phase of bell's palsy now when this is done on a very regular basis under guidance of someone you tend to follow right steps and the chances of preventing secondary complications becomes better and your chances of getting better facial movements also gets much higher again i'll clarify this facial paralysis recovery totally depends on the level of damage that has happened to the nerve physiotherapy is a tool that helps this facial muscles to recover physiotherapy don't focuses on curing facial paralysis no it does not cure it does not cure synchinesis it retrains the facial muscles to move back to the normal that is what is physiotherapy for facial paralysis all about unfortunately many of the healthcare professionals as well as uh, other people don't understand this difference between cure and rehabilitation or retraining which is the real meaning of physiotherapy and they start claiming that it will cure or it will just improve no it does not so please be educated and understand this fact that rehabilitation physiotherapy these things focuses on retraining and helping patients to come back or move back to their physical ability as much as possible that was an information piece that i wanted to share with you in this video i hope you found this helpful if yes make sure to like this video share this video with your friends and family members and don't forget to subscribe to health q channel i'll see you in another video thank you